Hey, you guys. Um, Raven here. Woo! -hoo! It's like I had the best weekend. I hope everyone had a really nice weekend. Unfortunately, though, um, luckily, eBay has been the bane of my existence and and weekend and my Sunday. I want a day off, of course. It's being a Sunday, um, can't have that. Um, obviously. Um, now with this, I, I, I I'm doing this video. Um, to, I'm not doing this video to, um, more or less explain myself because I've got nothing to explain because I haven't done anything wrong. Um, this is all eBay and I'm exposing eBay for what they are and I've really got nothing to lose. I don't care. Um, honestly, because small businesses like myself have lost, um, an enormous amount of profit because of their flawed money 100% money back guarantee there's no seller protection whatsoever and we have I've got scanners um daily just getting free products because of this and making false claims um I decided you know hey I'm not gonna I'm not going to use eBay as a platform to sell my gothic clothing I think I might just use it to sell the Pokemon trading card side of things as they are quite popular um, especially, you know, um, you know, uh, all the booster packs, whatnot. So I'm like, okay, well, I'm going to use eBay to, you know, um, showcase them. I have put notes, legit notes all over my eBay page, um, on my shop page, on the item description specification, um, for people to purchase via my website because, Number one, you as I will show you, eBay is withholding my payments. They're not paying me um, for the services that I've provided. Um, and number two, um, because of their flawed system, anyone can just go and open a freaking dispute against a seller and say, hey, I haven't got this item. And even if you have irrefutable proof, um, which I have other transcripts of, um, which I can, I will do in another video, um, saying that the item has been delivered. Um, the customer gets their money back in a free product. So I've lost over $2,000, close to $2,000 worth of, you know, of products that are probably worth even more than that because one was a mystery box and it had a, had limited edition card in it. So, um, you're not happy. I'm not happy whatsoever and um, I try like I do my very very utmost best and I have not publicly criticized ever anyone ever um, but I would not piss on eBay if it wasn't for food rent and kids I wouldn't even advertise on eBay I wouldn't use eBay um, number one when you go to customer service it's literally I get the same I, get, I either get the same person right or in, in the same response every time so it's like a bot like you're talking to a bot you're not talking to a human being you're talking to a bot um because all their responses are the same I, I can show you tra transcript up transcript up transcript of just the same responses um it's like it's like talking to a narcissist you're just going in loops it's like a freaking broken record and believe me, I've been in DVs with narcissists myself and it mentally screws me over. It's affected my mental health. Um, I haven't worked for a couple of days just due to all this because I can't even, like, my I've got chronic illness. I work from home. That's I want to contribute to the Australian society, taxes, pay my taxes, um, you know, all that sort of stuff, be a, a, a good, you know, working class Australian citizen like everybody else and not just bum around and do nothing and, you know, and get paid for it. I want to actually work. I love my job. I love my business. I have gone to the ends of the earth for my clients with my business. I, there is nothing in this world that I, you know, apart from my children that I love more is doing is this business. Now, um, eBay has ruined it for me. They have ruined it because small businesses like myself, 
um, everywhere, like Facebook, Instagram. I'm on all those pages, guys. I, I'm, again, trying to get myself out there. But they charge so much money and taking – and it's – cutting into my income so much it's getting me into debt more than I'm getting revenue so having to advertise through these companies these major corporations um is costing me more than I'm making so right now um I'm I'm ineligible to get a business loan because I haven't been trading for six months now I probably wouldn't even be silly enough to go for a business loan because I'm not gaining enough revenue at the moment because I'm not gaining enough exposure. Now, advertisement is not free and it's really hard. And you get you get these companies that advertise, you know, um, on Facebook and on their, on their ads and everything about how they advertise and they help small businesses and everything. But what people don't realise that these companies, they, they, they yes, they're there to help, companies don't get me wrong but if there is a fee involved with that which some companies like myself a struggling single mother of four cannot afford now i probably could be doing some like probably could be doing more youtube videos guys um yes um just for personal reasons this year i've had a really horrific year i've lost my house to floods um i've had I've had people take over residents in my house and refuse to sign a lease or pay rent. Um, I've got court proceedings coming up. I have my like my marriage dissolved via through a DV at the same time as the flood happening. You know, I've just felt so unvalidated all this year that I've had to try to defend myself and my business when I shouldn't have. Um, I'm an honest person. Any person that knows me personally would verify that I'm an honest person and I would never intentionally do anything to anyone to rip them off or profit from them in any way, shape or form. So I've felt victimised, unvalidated by eBay and made out to be um, a, crim a common criminal um, because they have a flawed 100% um, money back guarantee policy. It doesn't cover us sell as sellers. It's all for the buyers because they're a big major, major corporation. Um, us small businesses, the little guys that are selling you these quality products. We're nothing to them. We're ants. The buyer, the buyers are the, are the shoes and we're the ants and they go, I'm sorry guys, but that's exactly how it is. Um, I know that like probably a lot of you have actually read the, the, this first half. I've had to take time out of my day off. It's a Sunday. Um, I had my daughter's 21st last night. Um, I'm not hungover by any means. I'm not tired. Um, I, I get my, I get my, I wake up in the morning and I work for you. But today is my day off. Now I've had to spend you know, my precious timeline of my of my lifespan that I'm not going to get back having to deal with this stupid bot on eBay. Um, so that's what's going on right now. Okay, so I'm assuming everyone has read this part that I've got on the screen. I'm going to go to the second part. Um... They've had, they've got my, they've got my, I've got over a thousand dollars on hold with eBay via sales because I know how to sell my shit, right? They've hijacked my pay. They have not, they're not giving me my pay. Um, so my kids are going to be without Christmas time because of eBay. Um, if I got direct sales from my website, it would be a little bit different because I would get the money straight away. I'd be able to, look, not straight away, sorry guys, it'd be 24 hours, it would process through, then I would get it. Unlike eBay, right now, I, I'm not getting anything. I can't process these orders. These poor people that have, have ordered through me now cannot get their orders. I can't fulfill orders with no money. 
Um, and I'll show you eBay's response at the end of this too, for everybody to see. Um, I've got people who, like I said, I'm selling Pokemon cards, right? You get people with Pokemon cards and, um, yeah, I've researched this. I'm not going in blind, um, with this. Okay, guys, I've researched Pokemon booster packs. I've researched selling a Pokemon card. I'm not stupid by any means. Um, I've got a no return policy, which eBay overrid. They, they overrid the whole thing without my permission. Because apparently, um, there's a, there's a, um, in my preferences, it's got auto accept, um, returns, which when I put placed these, when I placed all my listings into eBay, I made sure on each and every one of them that I've, because I know, because all on my Pokemon cards, that it is no returns. Now, eBay's flipped that over on me um, and have also, also accepted a, a, a case that has been opened um, for a return because the, the, the person who ordered wasn't happy with their cards. So apparently, they got the wrong cards. When you buy Pokemon cards, you know, common sense should prevail, guys. If you're not happy with your Pokemon cards, that's not the seller's fault, okay? may not be your fault either, not the seller's fault. But, hey, if you're not happy with your pool, you know, common sense should prevail and you should realise that the seller is not going to accept a return because I cannot resell an opened product that has been tampered with because no one would buy a tampered with a, a product that's been tampered with that could potentially have valuable cards taken from it. That is just literally common sense, guys. Um, and it's that pisses me off. Um, so yeah, I have a case, and I've been, and this is not the first one. I've had people, like I said, scammers continuously open cases against me to get free products, and yeah, someone got a pretty sweet deal at my expense and you know it set me back from eating a week i'm not lying guys i was destitute for a week for this because of this freaking r-rate person who was abusive and um i've blocked from even buying from me permanently um because they scammed the system and got a free mystery box now this mystery box that i was selling at the time i actually do still have available because it back in stock um there could have been a card in there like that was 50 times more worth more than the box itself so because of ebay um i i had showed them documentation that it had been delivered unfortunately the carrier that i was going through had to transfer to another carrier for another for a for an unknown problem i don't understand what it was but they had messaged me i had messaged ebay and i said to ebay i'm very sorry but the carrot like the because i couldn't see um what the, the the buyer's original problem was is they couldn't see tracking so i had to chase up with like through my supplier um what courier service they were using etc cetera, etc cetera. anyway they would use a courier service that they don't normally use normally they use ups and they're they're awesome i love ups they're very easy they're very trackable um, I can't change my courier companies on eBay. That's another reason. That's another thing as well because they make it so hard, especially for people like myself who drop ship items from a supplier at a warehouse at a different location. It's very tricky to set up um, because sometimes, like a lot of like like I said, a lot of my stuff is AU um, and U and US based. Um, um, and the shipping when it actually goes smoothly is five to seven days and it's really quick and for all, a little bit of a stent now i've had no issue i've had really happy people um but no unfortunately um i i might have i might have doubled up on some of these because they were typing and yeah it kind of moved um 
as I was trying to screenshot all this because I wanted to screenshot this as I was doing it because I don't trust them to they, they normally they send you the transcript of the conversation after but I don't trust them as far as I can throw them so I wanted to make sure I got raw footage of actually what had been said between me and them um so pretty much at this point, this is the most cranky I've ever gotten with an agency in my entire life. I'm a pretty chill person, hey. I It takes a lot for me to react to, to people. I've got a very high tolerance level. But this is ridiculous. This is this has gone on long enough. And I think that I really have to address this because it is, it is like it's crippling my business. Um, it's making people question if I'm legitimate. I'm getting... I'm getting messages from people because of comments that have been left um for feedback that um and they're asking me you know are these legitimate cards and everything i'm purchased like i'm getting these cards through a licensed company that are licensed to sell these cards um there was one incident recently where we were selling out of brilliant stars very quickly like there were people buying them left right and center it was very popular um for the first week um of me posting um the booster boxes up or selling them for what um 188 um 90 i think it was and i was getting a lot of orders for that um so um sorry guys so what happened is i ran out of i i ran out of au stock I didn't want to um I didn't want to disappoint my clients or anyone and I put in um overseas stock just in place until the AU stock came back. There is there was no difference in boxes, there was no difference in quality, there was still legitimate Pokemon cards and it was starting to really <coughs> shit me off because I'd be getting people continuously interrupting my work day messaging me with the same questions you know are these are these authentic are these authentic yes that's a validated like that's a valid question to to ask and i guess i do encourage people to do that i've posted like i i didn't i need to like i probably will fix it up and do a frequent question questions and answers part in my policy part guys so um that's probably my bad on my behalf and i'll admit that but i have put up posts in my policies i put up on the, you know on my items that they are 100 percent authentic um i just get people that aren't happy with their pokemon pools and they're not happy that there's a no return policy i'm sorry but i'm not going to take that box that could be potentially altered i'm sorry i'm not going to put another client through that and and then you know it reflects on me then as a seller you know or you sold you sold me a tampered with box i'm not going to do that i'm sorry um, I'm putting my foot down with it. No if buts or maybes. So, oh yeah, that's sorry. Yeah. Oh yeah. By the way, I've been with with eBay over twelve years, and that in it's a treat. This is the treatment that I've get that I've got. Um, that was just a repeat of the um other one. Um. Yeah. And, um, yeah, I, I had, I had this one customer who is, um, uh, from Israel. I actually stopped. I like, I, I would love to list my stuff internationally because there are a lot of pleasant people, especially from the U S shout out to the U S. Um, they're so pleasant. They're, they're wonderful people and they're really understanding. Um, I've just been put off doing worldwide shipping off eBay at the moment um like if someone went onto my website obviously um from overseas and made an order of course i'm going to fulfill it they'll get their order but i've i've you know i've just he just kept opening up like i had a guy that has come on and messaged me about the pop about pop figures that i was um selling at the time which i've stopped i'm not even going to go into the full reason why i stopped selling Dunco Pops. They're on my main website still um, for purchase, but I won't be putting them on eBay again. Um, he um, wanted to private message me off eBay, which 
is against eBay's policy, especially if he's buying from eBay. You can't put, you can't message sellers off eBay site, which anyway he did on uh, Messenger. Now he barked orders at me for a few days to quote him for rare authentic like rare, authentic rare pots, and I kept telling him. I don't think these are authentic pop figures. I kept warning him. I said, listen, I'm going to have to can't because I, I had a suspicion um, with the supplier I was going through, it was a dodgy supplier. Um, I did some research into it and it turned out that they were a dodgy supplier. Um, so I said to him, I'm going to have to cancel your order. Um, but for the work you did that I had done for you for sourcing, I'm going to take $75 out of your refund because I spent a day off on school holidays when I could have been doing things with my children um, for the orders you're barking at me to write you up an invoice, which you never paid for and never bought off me. So it was a total waste of day. Um, and I said, I'm sorry, I'm just, I'm, I'm taking, I'm taking a portion out of that for payment because I did a service for you. I'm, I need payment for it. Okay. So he got back all his money, bar 70, 70, I think it was $74. Um, which can like, seriously, the amount of time I spent, which was from 10 AM to 9.30 at night. Um, he's pretty, he's lucky that he, it was 70, it was $74 because I probably could have charged way more than that. So he opened up a dispute with eBay. Um, so that went on for ages, this dispute. Um, no matter what I said to eBay, um, at first eBay was actually went in my favor and then he went to his financial institution um, and then they opened a case for $74. So eBay had no, no say, apparently, um, and he had to get some money back. In the process of this, he kept, um, I was getting nasty comments, um, negative feedbacks. eBay did take the, neg the negative feedback down. Um, at least that was one good thing, but um, there's all, now this is probably exploded with more. Um, yeah, it's just ridiculous, guys. It's ridiculous. Um, I just it, it, he kept opening cases up all the time. Um, to the point, you know, I blocked him. He's he's permanently banned from buying off me as well. And it really kind of like shook me. It it really put me off. Um, selling overseas because not only is there a language barrier of um, I think that doesn't it doesn't help with communication a language barrier as well because um if we if we sit with like if we perceive something one way they might not perceive it that way it's it's difficult so um once again it, it kind of just it kind of put me off but you know um so they transferred me onto another bot this is just the this is just the normal routine per process, you know. And I'm just rolling my eyes at this point. Like le legit, I'm rolling my eyes. I'm like, oh my god, is this just going to be the same outcome? Why do I even bother? Because you know, I've reached out to eBay so many times. It's just it's just become religious now. Now, um, you know, I'm starting to get cranky, and I like I said, I don't. I'm pretty chill. You know, I'm starting to get really bitchy i'm sorry but i'm just getting bitchy you know i'm i'm not like i'm seriously not holding my breath i said as buyers are more important to mega companies and it's true it is true um i literally had told them what was on my like what i was feeling what was on my mind i just let it out like, part of my language bleep Bleep this, um, yeah, anyway, it's taken a lot of time out of my work hours, it's caused me a lot of mental strain, a lot of sleep, sleepless nights, um, and it, now my pristine, I had a pristine seller's record, my, my record was above standard, um, when I first started listing on eBay, 
Um, like I said, I've been with them for over 12 years and this is a treatment they've given me um, because of dishonest people. Um, they'd rather support criminals than their sellers. This is eBay. Um, there's more. Um, I get the same response. I'm sorry for the travels you have faced. Um, you know, blah, 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 blah. You know, these are basically, these are just bot responses, guys. And... Um, I'm explaining to them. I've got no no ref, uh, no returns policies. I meant to say returns, not refunds. Um, that too, because you can't. I'm not taking Pokemon card back. It's a non-returnable item. I'm not. You're not getting refunded. I'm sorry. Um, sorry, dry throat. Um, as I stated to them, obviously I cannot resell open packs. That's just like literally common sense. Um, I'm like, so, yeah, apparently, which is a load of crap, because when I set my listings, when I set my policies on those listings, it would have overridden the default of accepting returns. They, recept, they accepted a return without my permission. I did tell you it's spreading. Okay, Ashton, I'm doing the video, sweetie. Um, um, anyway, they got the correct item. It was delivered. It shouldn't have been an issue. But, of course, it um, it's always going to be an issue with eBay. Truth. Mm. Okay, so then I get the same response. I could report buyer. Report, you know, um, blah, blah, blah. Um, yeah, I can do that. You know, it just takes, it just takes, excuse me, it just takes another half an hour out of my day and is a waste of time because the same crap just still happens. Because then they'll reflect it and drag it on and these poor people that have placed an order with me recently have to wait longer. Okay, so I'm like, yes, but you don't understand. I have to keep fixing this issue all the time. It's mentally impacting me, finan uh, and me financially impacting me and costing me my customers. It's true. I've lost customers over this. It's not my personally my fault. It's eBay. Um, I'm like, no items been returned. I have no returns. So why does eBay accept returns on my behalf? Okay, so this is eBay's response. I understand your point. However, the seller's, uh, the seller's return policy applies when the buyer opens the returns with change of mind reason. For the, re for, the, for the returns request, which is open under not as described, eBay's money back guarantee is applied. Okay? Yeah, and it's majorly flawed. Um, that policy has cost us sellers hundreds because people warp the system. Okay, I have to, I have to, I have to, I have to, like, I have to state, I wanted to, I wanted to pull my, I wanted to pull their bluff here, like, I wanted to see their response to this, and, of course, it's, it's legit, have confirmed to me that I'm talking to a bot, because any normal person would be like, holy crap, I'm, I'm crapping my panties right now, because she's obviously on YouTube, she's, you know, she's, um, anyway, I said, and scammers get free goods, um, as they scan your system and eBay does nothing to rectify it. Um, you had, and I said, you have no idea how easy it is to scam free item, like free item off eBay. Okay, guys, I don't have this many viewers. Hey, I, I wish, but 
um, 1.2 million views I have, I could easily YouTube it. Um, I can, guys. I, I want to do, I really want to do a live, but I don't want to put somebody else through that. I really don't. I don't want to put someone else through that. So if I might actually get a friend to actually, see, even going, putting myself through that, you know, I could possibly, possibly get a friend to do, like, to open a case on my eBay just to show you just to show you um but you know it's it's stuff around you know so i will i probably i potentially will i could potentially do this um it is so easy to it is so easy done what ashlyn where's the cat sale i don't know uh look in there um it's so easy done guys it's so simple and ebay does nothing about it you know, I don't, I don't want to promote it, and I don't want other people to 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 put other sellers through the torment that I've gone through. Um, saying, you know, showing people and um how easy it is to scam eBay and these poor people that are trying to make a living. I, you know, I probably, I probably, I really shouldn't do it, honestly. Um, but believe me, it is so, it is so easy to do. Um, because sellers have no protection on eBay whatsoever. Um, I said something needs to change as we sellers are left to beg for our earnings. We are left to beg for our earnings, guys. We have to beg for our money. eBay withholds our money. We have to beg for it. Um, I know that there probably be people that will beg to differ with this, um, because you can either do, um, there's like two ways you can have eBay deal with it and they'll put the payment through and there's another way which I've tried to do and eBay overrides. So eBay still gets the money through and still chooses to withhold it and dangle it in front of me like a, like a freaking doggy treat for me to, to beg for. So there are so many people, dishonest people out there. You know, it's about time that someone stood up and made people aware of it and that's what i'm doing so their response i certainly understand what you must be going through they don't understand what i'm going through because they get paid they don't get their their, their freaking wage buddy dangled in front of them and they have to beg for it they don't know what it's like um i see that we have provided return labels to the buyer for this for the return cases no return policy, but they overread it. Um, if buyers do not ship the item within 10 business days, that's 10 freaking business days, guys, that I can't fulfill my customers' orders. 10 freaking business days. Providing a label, then the cases will automatically close and the funds will be um, released to your account. Great. Yes, but I don't accept returns. It shouldn't be returned. They should put their adult panties on and accept it and move forward, not waste my time and your time going around in circles. It's like story time, hey. I said it's online shopping. It's a gamble, especially when you're dealing in trading cards. Truth, guys. There are all valid points. When you are dealing online with trading cards, Pokemon, Yu-Gi-Oh, um, Final Fantasy, whatever, it is a gamble. I am going through a learning program right now where my instructor is actually told, is actually, you know, openly said, trading card industry is a gamble. Now, Pokemon like companies like Pokemon, um, you know, uh, Wizards of Wizards of, the, Wizards of the Coast, all that they don't want. They want to make a profit. These companies want to make a profit. So the pulls that you get from when you buy boxes, some people get extremely lucky, and yes, it happens. And but sometimes you don't. It's a gamble because they want you to keep buying their merchandise. 
So this is why we have rare cards that are really expensive and worth a lot of money because they're rare, because they're rarely put in boxes. So you understand now? Now, I've copped so much abuse over this um, on my Facebook marketplace as well um, because I drop ship my cards. I can't timestamp. Now, the other day, I had a person randomly message me, right, in, like, at some bleep hour of the night, stating, where is your timestamp, you scammy? <coughs> I just was so really angry at this point and over it. I wanted just to give up on Pokemon cards, but I'm not going to because there are so... It, these... I wanted to bring joy to people with these cards and I'm not letting these trolls take advantage of that. So I just reported, blocked and moved on. So people are, you know, it's people that have scammed the system, you know, they've made it hard for people like us to make a living and sell because no one trusts anyone anymore because of these scammers. It's really hard. It's, it's like it's a cutthroat industry, guys. It's and you have to really try to mentally prepare yourself because I have a lot of chronic illness and, um, you know, acute chronic illnesses. I, you know, sometimes I can't cope with it, and it really it puts me out of out of whack for a few days. I have to literally just not work. I have to stay away from technology. I can't deal. Because when you are an honest person, I'm not blowing my own, not trying to toot my own horn, guys. I'm not perfect. I'm a human being like everybody else. I make mistakes. But when you're, when you're, when you're not intentionally trying to be dishonest and people are just berating you for no reason because they're having a bad day or they've got a bad Pokemon pool or they just want to see the world burn, you know, we have to, I have to cop it. It's not fair. Okay. Um, basically, I said that it, their 100% money back guarantee needs adjusting. It's freaking true. Um, and in the meantime, my, my, my funds are withheld. My business suffers and my cust and customers refunded. Because I will, my customers aren't going to wait forever. They're not going to wait 10 freaking business days for me to fulfill their order. They're going to get refunded. They're going to have to put it in through a refund because I can't fulfill their order. Um, eBay's taken my payments hostage. It's true. Valid and true. Um, so basically, um, they're, they're trying to justify again here in here that, um, They're trying to justify themselves by saying that it was on auto acceptance. Now, it would have overridden auto acceptance even if auto acceptance was on. Um, as soon as I adjusted all those listings and edited all those listings, listings for no returns. And if they, and if it didn't, well, then that's eBay's doing. That's eBay's fault, not mine. Um which I'll have to go into the settings and, and check and I will screenshot it. If it's if it's set on not auto, I'm gonna screenshot it. Um in the meantime, how am I gonna feel fulfill orders? I have people waiting. I understand you need to fulfill orders for the buyers, but the reason uh this is the reason we recommend our sellers to list their items properly as described. I listed my items properly as described eBay has been auto listing my out of stock items. Um, eBay has been listing um, the wrong pictures on the wrong products, which I've had to adjust, and they had nothing to do with the the recent one. Um, they keep auto listing overseas for me, and I keep I keep cancelling the listings for overseas because, like I said, I've giving overseas a rest for now. Um, but, um, yeah, I understand, you know, um, 
It's just ridiculous. I, I, I'm just, it, it's just like, a, it's a giant narcissistic, it's like a giant narcissistic cycle. And believe me, I've, I've been around monsters my entire life. I know NPD and this is like talking to a narcissist. But this is a corporate narcissist um, that doesn't give crap about you. Oh, well, actually, well, yeah, that's a narcissist. So, okay. Um, okay, th that holds my business up. It's frustrating. I can realise your concern um, in a matter. I truly regret for the inconvenience for this situation is caused. A little bit generic there, hey. Um... I understand you wish to get payments back. Rest assured, if the buyer returns the item within the time frame, you will receive your funds back. So, yeah, guys, I'm at the buyer who wanted to rot the system's mercy. So, um, yeah, at that point, I kind of zoned out and I was just doing my daughter's hair. I couldn't give two shits what they were they said. But anyway, I continued on with the conversation. Um, I said, so in the meantime, the other buyers suffer. This is eBay's response, guys. I suggest you fulfill their orders so that the item can get delivered with the estimated date of delivery. Their estimated date of delivery is severely disgusting and flawed. For one, it's unrealistic. Number two, you never get it on their delivery time anyway. Even if you were to go through eBay's delivery system, you still have to wait the, the same amount of time if you go internationally or if you go um, worldwide or if you go with UPS. Well, actually, no, not if you go with UPS because UPS are faster. Um, so I'm like, with what funds? You know, you're holding them. Like, duh, um, I can understand you're unable to send the item. However, once you, they, yeah, once they, like, again, once they, <laughs> it's like, it's like one big narcissistic record on replay. Yeah, it's right in front of you guys. You're reading it. You know, I just really don't need to explain it. Like, it, it does your head in. Um. So like I'm like okay well I'll direct the customers waiting to eBay like wait uh, to eBay support then because at that at this point I'm like no nah, I'm, I'm like no nah, get bleeped like this is just ridiculous I understand your situation you can ask them to contact us contact us they will have if, I mean if they have an issue we will help them yeah guys we have an issue i'm um, very you know like i apologize to the recent buyers that i can't fulfill i had did send them a message today to contact ebay support um obviously they're gonna have to get a refund um by all means you know contact ebay because it's going to down then it's going to reflect on me because of ebay's stupid fault it's going to reflect on me as a seller and then it's going to impact my business because of ebay So anyway, they're like, as I already explained, blah, blah, blah. Yeah, okay. Uh-huh. Right. Um, I said there's a um then after all the narcissistic repeat loop, I get they're like they want to transfer me to a supervisor. I'm not gonna spend another freaking half an hour of my day, of my day off, talking to a bot. I'm I'm already you know I'm I'm done. Like literally, I just said, "What's the point?" I just get the same res response. I might as well just go and tell my teenage daughter to clean her room. It's just in it's just as infuriating and pointless. And I left. Plain simple. I like I legit I left. Um, so I'll get that transcript sent and I'm going to, oh, I'm really interested to see if they're going to add everything that, that transcript. I'll go over it tonight with a fine tooth comb. Um, but yeah, guys, that's, that's my, that's my experience with eBay. Um, if people were to, to order off my direct site, um, 
I wouldn't be having this issue right now. I wouldn't be making this YouTube video. But I've exposed their corporation, eBay's corporation. I don't think I wouldn't piss on them. If I, ha I've just got no choice but to showcase what I'm got, my, my items on eBay to make a living. And I have to beg for the, I have to beg for my money if people decide to buy through eBay. And it's not, it's not right and it's not fair. And there, I know, I know that there's going to be a lot of other sellers out there that are going to agree with me 110%. Um, and, by all means, comment on this video and share it because the, I think the rest of the world in Australia needs uh, the, the Australia and the rest of the world need to know what we're going through as sellers. Um, the lengths we're trying to trying to do to get you your items, but it's continuously seems like it's futile because of eBay. Shop Amazon, guys. Take care, stay safe, make the right decisions, guys, and I'll do another video update soon. Um, I've got a really big announcement coming up for Raven Co. Local. Um, I'm, I'm pretty sure, like a lot of you that do follow Raven Co. Local, have seen the cute little Pikachu ad I've put up. Um, it's a little hint, hint. So, Brisbane, Ipswich Metro. Um, keep an ear out, um, eye out on my Raven Co. Local Facebook page. Um, there'll be updates posted. I will do another YouTube video soon. Um, I won't leave it so long this time, guys, and I apologise. I've just got a lot of my personal life going on at the moment, and I've got to self-care and take care of myself. So um, I know a lot of you will understand that. So thank you so much. Um, and, yeah, I'll catch up with you guys soon.